So I started off by looking at my index finger to see if I have any natural indentations which I could use to my advantage. This step is kinda optional, but it does help with hiding the splinter which we're going to add in the next step. I'm putting some rigid collodion on my finger. For those who don't know, this product creates a scarring effect by pulling your skin and creating an indentation. When using this you should always check if you are not allergic and how you should properly use this product. I used two layers which was enough to create a small cut. So the next step is also kinda optional. I'm adding some scab blood which will help me with holding the splinter in place. I needed this because I was in an awkward position while filming and I didn't have much control of my own finger. So you could skip this, but it also creates a nice effect when you add the silicone paste on top, which we will do in the next step, because it will make the splinter look extra painful. Before adding the silicone paste, I'm cleaning my finger with some rubbing alcohol. I find this really helps for making the silicone stick to my skin even better. The silicone paste I'm using is from Mask Mania. This is a store from the Netherlands, um, I'll add a link in the description. It comes with a part A and a part B. So part A has some red fibers in it, which you'll see really well while I'm applying the paste. You have to stir them before use and mix equal parts of A and B together. Always clean your spatula when you're switching between them, otherwise your product is ruined. This is the only silicon paste I have, but I do know that Cryoland sells a very similar product, which is called Artex, and which I just ordered and will use in future tutorials. I've also seen people use a product called third degree silicone, which I'm guessing is also the same. I will review this silicone paste and the Artex one by Cryolan in a future review preview video. After you've mixed part A and B, you need to work really fast, because this product will set in a couple of minutes. You want to take away most of the product leaving the splinter covered and blending the edges as well as possible. You want to use a small spatula for this, which I don't have. I'm using this needle tool instead, which is fine because I'm working on my own finger and I won't stab myself with it. But you should probably use a proper spatula instead. When you're working with your silicone paste, you should look at your finger from all sides. This way you can check if the splinter is completely covered and isn't sticking out. It's okay if it sticks out at the end which we will hold with the tweezers, but the bloody side should be covered really well. It also helps if your splinter is rather thin, so put some effort into making it. I just made it out of a piece of wood that I cut off a toothpick, by the way. And the most important thing is to let it dry afterwards. If it's not dry when you apply the powder, then you will most likely ruin it. I'm adding the translucent powder to set the silicone paste once it's completely dry. Because my finger looked really dry after powdering it, I'm using some water to take away the matte look. You can always add more powder or water, depending on how dry you want your skin to look. So I poked a little hole at the end of my splinter. Um, you can now add some blood or just leave it like this. Just play around with it. Um, the first time I took out the splinter, which I did off camera because the camera was blocking me, I pressed the silicon down with my thumb while pulling the splinter with my tweezers. Um, if the silicon is completely dry, it shouldn't stick to the, the splinter too much. 
but be careful when you pull it out the first time so just press it down with your thumb and then just carefully take the splinter out with your tweezers making sure that you don't rip off the whole thing um, if you took it out carefully the first time you can just put it back in and scare some people and you can take it out and put it back in and take it out and put it back in and there might be some air which will get underneath the silicon which will make it look a little bit fake but you can press the silicon down again on your skin and put the splinter back in and just pull it back out and just have some fun with it um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, suggestions or requests, you can contact me on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram. Um, I have an Instagram account now. If you don't follow me yet, feel free to follow me. And that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and see you until next time. Bye!